since it's been several years Pete since French we've been to the round barn of the notorious Pete French, we decide to go to the round barn. We find there's some new signs being put up. There's a visitor center. The Jenkins family has put up a visitor center and have a little museum there. You can go in and learn a lot about Pete French and the history of this area. And also you can look at their fantastic antique doll collection and Mr. Jenkins is in there himself to answer your question. They also have a good selection of books here, the informative books that you might need to key out a bird or an animal or a plant you've seen. And if you're in the mood for a pair of fancy spurs or a fancy bridle, you can find them in here as well. And also, Mr. Jenkins is extremely friendly and helpful. Pete French built this barn back in the days of buckaroos and lawness, lawlessness out here in this part of rural Oregon. He built it to exercise horses in here. Then, after Fr Pete French was killed by a homesteader, this property came up for sale. The Jenkins family were neighbors of Pete French and so they bought it at his estate sale here. And it was in their family for a lot of years and then they donated it to an uh, organization to, to preserve it and keep it up. Unfortunately, they don't seem to have the money to do this and it's really badly in need of a new roof, it looks to me like here. I hope they get a fundraiser going and can get this bit of history fixed back up for all to enjoy. For generations to come. The stone walls still stand and the cedar or the juniper posts are still in good shape in here. The center portion of it where the horses were kept is now empty. But at one time this must have been a pretty busy place with the cowboys in here working these horses and exercising them around the runway place around the outside. I've heard that those horses that were broke in here would only go in circles. So. of 1872, 23-year-old Peter French set off from California, headed for southeastern Oregon with about 1,200 head of cattle, 20 horses, several supply wagons, a cook, and a half a dozen cowhands. He eventually settled in the Donner and Blitzen Valley. Here he established a ranching operation that grew over the next quarter century to 200,000 acres, making him one of Oregon's first cattle kings. At the time the, the round barn was built, French ran several thousand horses that had to be trained and exercised every day. Sheltered from the harsh winter weather, this round barn provided a place for French's squirrels and buckaroos to ready the horses for the rigorous work required of them during the busy ranching season. Of the three original round barns on the Pea Ranch, only this one remains. French's reign as a cattle king ended in December 1897 when he was shot and killed in a land dispute with a local homestead.